जय हिंद डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द टाइम रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम इन द सीबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ अ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम सो वी विल टेक अ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल For example, this is the uh, we can say block diagram of second order system, and here this is the forward path gain and feedback path gain. We have considered unity here, and we are considering the negative feedback in this case. Okay, so we know that if there is negative feedback, then the transfer function we can calculate as C S upon R S. It will be is equal to G S upon one plus G S H S. right so here in this case we have a uh, gs that is forward path gain it is omega n square divided by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n and hs is equal to 1 here okay so if you put these values in this so we will get omega n square divided by S into S plus two zeta omega n divided by one plus omega n square divided by S into S plus two zeta omega n. Right. After simplifying this, we will get omega n square divided by S square plus two zeta omega n. S plus omega n square. So this will be the transfer function of a second order system. Here C S is the output and R S is the input, right? Now we will try to find out this C S uh, in the form of C T. If R S, that is, if input uh, that we are applying is the unit step input, right? So here we are considering we are applying a unit step input. Unit step input. okay and then we are we will find the response of the system ct okay so if input is unit response then rs will be 1 upon s right so we will have cs is equal to omega n square divided by s into s square plus 2 zeta omega n omega n s plus omega n square right so here we have put uh, this value rs is equal to 1 upon s okay now we will try to find the response of this in time domain that is we are interested in ct so to find ct what we will do what we will do we will put omega n square upon s into we will make it we will try to make it complete square first so s square plus 2 zeta omega n s right and plus we will add zeta square omega n square and we will subtract the same zeta square omega n square and last term is plus omega n square okay now we can see this will be the complete square this will make the complete square and we will get it in this form omega n square divided by s into s into s plus 2 zeta omega n whole square s plus zeta omega n whole square right s plus zeta omega n whole square and from here we can take omega n square common from this term we can take omega n square common so we will write omega n square into 1 minus 
zeta square right so we will get this and now we can consider this term is equal to omega d square so we can write cs is equal to cs is equal to omega n square divided by s into s plus zeta omega n square plus omega d square right where we have considered where we have considered this omega d omega d square is equal to omega n square into 1 minus zeta square right so now we can make the partial fraction so we can write a upon s plus b s plus c divided by s plus zeta omega n square plus omega d square okay so after solving this we will get a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and c is equal to minus 2 zeta omega n okay so if i put these values here so it will be cs is equal to 1 upon s minus s plus 2 zeta omega n divided by s plus zeta omega n whole square plus omega d square right we will further simplify it okay so we can write cs is equal to 1 upon s minus s plus zeta omega n divided by s plus zeta omega n whole square plus omega d square right so one term will be this and the second term will be minus zeta omega n divided by s plus zeta omega n square plus omega d square okay now we will further modify it because if we want to take the inverse laplace then it will it we can take easily here it will be s plus zeta omega n divided by s plus zeta omega n plus this complete square plus omega d square so there will be no problem here if you take the inverse laplace but in this term we have to multiply and divide by omega d so we will write zeta omega n divided by omega d into omega d divided by s plus zeta omega n whole square plus omega d square right now we can take the inverse laplace so if we take the inverse laplace then we will get ct is equal to inverse of 1 upon s will be 1 minus here we will find the inverse of this we will get e to the power minus zeta omega n into t into cos omega d t right and here we will get because we have taken minus sign common so this term will be plus right and similarly this term will be plus here because we have taken minus sign common and now this term will be plus zeta omega n divided by if we put the value of omega d it is omega n under root 1 minus zeta square right and the inverse laplace of this will be e to the power minus zeta omega n into t into sin omega d t right 
So this will be the inverse Laplace. Now we can take this common. Okay, this term we can take common e to the power minus zeta omega n into t. So we can write c t is equal to one minus e to the power minus zeta omega n into t into. Inside we have uh, cos omega t, cos omega d into t plus. Now omega n will cancel out with this. So zeta upon we will have zeta upon under root one minus zeta square, right? And into sine omega d into t. Okay. Now we will further. Simplify it. If we take the LCM, then it will be under root one minus zeta square into cos omega d t plus zeta into sine omega d t, and this will be we can take out under root one minus under root one minus zeta square. under root 1 minus zeta square we can take out okay now if we consider let under root 1 minus under root 1 minus zeta square is equal to sin phi if i consider this then the cos phi should be cos phi should be is equal to zeta and tan phi should be is equal to under root 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta, right? So, with this assumption, we can write ct is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by under root 1 minus zeta square, okay, into sin phi into cos omega d t plus cos phi into sin omega d t right now this is the formula of sin a plus b so we can write c t is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by under root 1 minus zeta square <coughs> sorry under root 1 minus zeta square into into sin a plus b that is sin omega d t plus phi. So, we can write sin omega d t plus phi. Okay. Now we can put the value of phi and omega d here. So the final value of ct or the time response of second order system will be 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by under root 1 minus zeta square into sine. If you put the value of omega d, it is uh, omega n into under root. 1 minus zeta square into t plus phi we can put in terms of 10 inverse. So, it will be 10 inverse under root 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta. So, this will be the we can say the final time response of the second order system. Okay. Now, for different value of zeta, the system will be different. That is, if if I take the case 1, case 1 if you take and in this if we are considering that zeta is lying in between 0 to 1, if zeta is lying in between 0 to 1, then the system will be called under damped, under damped system, right, the system will be called under damped system. In this case, the response of the system will be, it will be like this, 
this is CT with respect to T we are plotting it and it will be something like this okay. So, it is exponentially decaying system so under damped system. Similarly, if I take zeta is equal to 0 case 2 if I take zeta is equal to 0 then the system is called critically damped system critically damped system right. So, if I take zeta is equal to 0 if I put zeta is equal to 0 in this equation then this term will be disappear and similarly this term will disappear ok. So, from here we will get uh, omega n t plus uh, this term will be pi by 2. So, sin omega n t plus pi by 2 will be cos omega n t right or we can write if, if I write this equation C t is equal to C t is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by under root 1 minus zeta square into sin omega d t plus phi then this will change into 1 minus sin omega d t plus pi by 2. Okay, if I put zeta is equal to 0, right. So, for, for zeta is equal to 0, we will get this and after solving this, we will get 1 minus cos omega d t and the response of the system will be, uh, sorry, this is not critically damped, this is called undamped system, right. Critically damped case will be for zeta is equal to 1 this is undamped, this case is undamped, undamped system ok. For zeta is equal to 0, the system will be undamped system and the response that we will obtain will be like this. Ok. So, second case is undamped. Now, third case for zeta is equal to 1. So, we will take case 3 that is zeta is equal to 1 here and this is critically damped case, critically damped case ok. The system will be called critically damped. So, we have started with C s is equal to omega n square divided by s into s square plus 2 zeta omega n omega n s plus omega n square. So, we have started with this. In this equation, if I put zeta is equal to 1, then for zeta is equal to 1, this C s will be omega n square divided by s into s square plus 2 omega n s plus omega n square or we can write omega n square divided by s into s plus omega n whole square right. So, if now if I do the partial fraction then C s will be C s will be a upon s plus b upon s plus omega n plus c upon s plus omega n whole square. After solving this, we will get a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus omega n. So, if I put these values, then the c s will be is equal to 1 upon s minus 1 upon s plus omega n and minus omega n divided by s plus omega n square right. Now, if we take the inverse Laplace of this, then the C t will be is equal to inverse of 1 upon s will be 1, inverse Laplace of this will be 
e to the power minus omega n t right and here we will get t omega n e to the power minus omega n t okay this will be the inverse laplace of this from here we can take e to the power minus omega n t common and it will be c t is equal to 1 minus we can take minus e to the power minus omega n t common and inside it will be 1 plus t omega n 1 plus t omega n so this will be the response of the system when zeta is equal to 1 we have considered or critically damped case okay now in this case uh, in this case we can see uh, the time constant of the system is time constant of the system t is 1 upon zeta omega n right so for under damped systems the time constant is 1 upon zeta omega n so how we can calculate it if we if i compare this term with if i compare this term with e to the power minus t upon t then we will get the time constant capital t capital t is equal to 1 upon zeta omega n in this case and in critically damped case you can see the time if I compare this term, if I compare this term with e to the power minus t upon capital T, then the capital T will be 1 upon omega n in this case. Okay. So, now what is omega n? What is zeta omega n? So, this zeta omega n is called, it is called actual damping. and this and in this critically damped case when zeta is equal to 1 for zeta is equal to 1 this zeta omega n will be called critical damping this is called critical damping and the ratio of these two that is zeta omega n and if I put zeta is equal to 1, then it is omega n only. And the ratio of these two will be zeta and this is called damping ratio. This is called damping ratio, right. So, now we have discussed uh, the three cases. First, we have considered if zeta is in between 0 to 1 that is uh, the case of under damped so in the second case we have considered uh, zeta is equal to uh, 0 that is the case of undamped in third case we have considered zeta is equal to 1 that is the case of critically damped and the last case case 4 case 4 case 4 will be for zeta greater than 1 that will be the case of over damped systems over damped systems right so in this case we have to uh, solve it again so we have started with cs upon rs is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n e square right we have started with this again if i put rs is equal to 1 upon s here so cs will be omega n e square divided by s into s e square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus if i add zeta e square omega n e square and subtract the same zeta square omega n square and last term was omega n square okay now again we can make the complete square so it will be omega n square omega n square divided by s into s plus zeta omega n square and from this we can take minus omega n square common and it will be zeta square minus 1 in this case in last case we have uh, you, you you 
you have seen that we have uh, we have considered uh, we have taken uh, plus g omega n square common then this term will was 1 minus zeta square but in this case as we have considered zeta should be greater than 1 so we have make this zeta square minus 1 and we have taken minus omega n square common right so now we can write omega n square divided by s into s plus zeta omega n square right and minus omega d square where we have considered where this omega d square which is called uh, damped frequency omega d square is omega n square into under root uh, sorry not under root in this case omega n square into zeta square minus 1 ok. So, we have considered this. Now, we can write C s is equal to omega n square divided by s into this we can open. So, a square minus b square formula we can open. So, it will be s plus zeta omega n plus omega d and s plus zeta omega n minus omega d ok. Now, we can do the partial fraction and we can write C s is equal to omega n square divided by s into s plus zeta omega n plus omega d into s plus zeta omega n minus omega d ok. Now, we can do the partial fraction and we can write a upon s plus b upon s plus zeta omega n plus omega d and plus c divided by s plus zeta omega n minus my अरे राहुल जी एक बार देखना क्या हुआ इसमें हाँ बस अब कर, इसके बाद जस्ट खत्म ही कर रहा हूँ पता नहीं आगे भग रहा है इसको टच करते ही ये कैसे हट गया अच्छा ओके सो वी कैन राइट सी अपॉन वी कैन राइट सी अपॉन एस प्लस जीटा ओमेगा एंड माइनस ओमेगा डी ओके सो वी कैन सॉल्व दिस एस वी हैव सॉल्व्ड इन प्रीवियस केस एंड वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सीटी हियर सो द फाइनल रेस्पॉन्स विल बी कॉल्ड द एंड द फाइनल रेस्पॉन्स विल बी कॉल्ड द ओवर डैम्प्ड रेस्पॉन्स राइट सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द टाइम रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सेकंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम ओके सो वी विल स्टॉप हियर थैंक यू